So before we begin today's video, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support you guys are giving on the new plush at makeshift with Sienna Cosmic Wonders Edition. Now, I know it's a little confusing because I've used makeshift a lot, but I don't think I've ever actually kind of explained how it worked. So I'm going to take the probably the next minute or so to sort of break it down a little bit, because I know I said it's basically Kickstarter with plushes. Essentially, the first 200 buyers are actually funding the making of the plush. And if those people hit that 200 goal, then every other sale after that is a guaranteed getting the plush. Unfortunately, if you hit underneath 200, everyone gets refunded and the plush doesn't get made. So that's where the Kickstarter part of it comes in. Now, that said, uh, if sales keep continuing to be successful because we have 11 days left in the campaign, then it's going to be an absolute guarantee that everyone gets the Seattle plush. And that also means the opportunity to do more Cosmic Wonders characters. Wink, 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 wink. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Well, let's move on. Okay, all right. What if someone got bitten by a vampire but didn't realize it, so then they go around and keep misidentifying all the symptoms, like... Dude, you haven't gone outside in a while. Yeah, last time I went out, I got, like, this wicked sunburn. Uh, are you still up? Yeah, I just started binge-watching this show on Netflix. I'm seriously craving something right now. Well, like what? I don't know. Pizza rolls? Um, why is it that you never come into my house unless I invite you? Um, it's called being polite. Dude, you stopped wearing your favorite silver necklace. Yeah, I don't know. It just started making me really itchy. I need this show. Hey, do you think Shadow could use his rocket shoes to cook a chicken? This was based on my likes. Thank you, Tumblr. Also, yes, absolutely. Damn. I need a new word for old blorbos that aren't really your blorbos anymore, but you still feel fondness for them. The series ended or you just fell out of the fandom, but your mutuals still put them on your dash sometimes and you go, aww. He's still out there making it in the big city. Blorbins is the funniest response so far. Thank you. They bin my Blorbos. Love it. If you don't understand why I tagged a certain post as a certain character, don't worry about it. Just know I'm right. You, an intellectual. The Demogorgon? Me, an idiot. The Demogorgon, Zola. Mm. <sighs> the thing is, I would eat the grapes. I would eat the pomegranate seeds. I would eat the Turkish delights. It doesn't matter what the stakes are. If you put a little plate of snacks out in front of me, I'll eat them. If you sent me to an evil fantasy realm and told me that if I ate everything, I would die a painful, terrible death, then set a charcuterie board down in front of me and that would be it for me. Like it wouldn't even be the torturous internal struggle to not eat the cheese. I wouldn't even need to be that hungry. <sighs> Mood. Imagine you're walking in a field at night and a UFO appears overhead. Bright lights shine down at you and you start getting lifted into the air, but then the unearthly voice says, Shit, 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 wrong one! And you get unceremoniously dumped back onto the ground. Then the light focuses on a frog that is about two feet to your left and picks that up instead. Perfect. I just want to see more villains who care about their henchmen. I want to see the bad guy fly into a rage because the hero hurt their very favorite bungling goon and it was nearly his birthday. How dare you fail me, you miserable oafs! Should be retired. How dare they bully my adorable oafs! Should be industry standard. Underlings having to hold back their dark lord like an overprotective parent because they don't want a famous hero to get outright murdered just on their behalf. Guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, that movie does exist. It's called Despicable Me and the Minions spinoff. Especially with what Rise of Gru looks like it's supposed to be. So, sorry. My art history teacher is like, there were zero women artists during the Renaissance. Well, there was Sononispa, but that's it. And I'm steaming because there were more female artists during the Renaissance. And I know this because I spent hours researching women artists in the Renaissance so I could figure out what to name my girl Ninja Turtle OC when I was 11. Dedication. Ocarina at time Zelda really said, Go back to your time and enjoy the childhood you lost. And then her child self immediately said, Nah, fuck that. Take this ocarina and leave the country and don't tell anybody. And no one outside of the royal family will know of your accomplishments. Like, girl. God damn. Girl's first instinct is to send a boy away as far as possible as soon as possible. Uh, I like to believe it's because they just ratted on Ganondorf that he was going to do a bunch of things, and Link got sent into the Witness Protection Program. I could fix him. I could make him worse. Yeah, well, I could do this to him. I love this series so much. 
You know the euphoria you get when you're scrounging around something unrelated and then you see something related to your special interests? <sighs> I would like to say that Egypt started graphic novels. Y'all ain't ready for that. Wait. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on, they're right. Fanfic writers really said, in any universe, in any scenario, despite any obstacle, these people would love each other. And I think that's very cool of us. Keith. Blood is thicker than water. Yes, but syrup is thicker than blood. Therefore, pancakes are more important than family. In this essay, I will... Ah, <gasps> oh, sweet skateboard! Oh, 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 it's not ripe yet. Ugh. Always some kind of fucking temperature. <sighs> A moment of silence for all the times we drew people with arms behind their back to avoid having to draw the hands. I really tried to scroll past this. The denial was eating me alive, though. This... Post is my life. A moment of silence for all the times we drew people with really long side bangs to avoid drawing another eye. And it just slowly slide in my shame. Thank you. Do y'all dream about cuddling with Tumblr mutuals who live hundreds of miles away, or am I just insane? I cast curse and infest your dreams with Pikachu Man. How dare you? Not to brag, but I know some pretty big words. Like whilst and tubular. Oh! An onomatopoeia. That's my son. I'm so proud of him. 